Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky14 and welcome back to more of the world of magic. Alrighty, so um, I guess we're gonna start this by going to the supply manager and getting ourselves a free awakened Kui doll because we all know awakened Kui dolls are amazing. Yes they are. So um yeah there it is. Now um this time that's what we're gonna do. We are going to what the hell should we do? Hmm. You know, I don't wanna do too many back to back videos of the same place battling. Basically I have some Mystic Seas right here. Um, and I actually got a, wait, yeah, I got a couple off screen. Now, something freaking amazing happened. Well, first off, here's a Perry Volume 3, and that's not worth too much. Now, here's a Sweeping Strikes Volume 2. Can you believe that? A bloody mind dropped that shit. Oh my god. That's luck. Not only that, but I got a freaking Viking Sword. A plus two seven hit rate Viking Sword. That was dropped by one of the, I forgot the hell who it was. It's one of those four Dung Dung thingies, whatever, with the stupid names. But damn, damn, damn. The Viking Sword, I kind of checked. That thing can be sold for about 500,000 to 600,000. Just like that, unenchanted. If you plus 7 it, obviously the value goes way, way higher. But the thing is, do I want to be taking a risk and chanting it to the, quote, danger point? You know, and maybe it'll break and I have to use gemstones to repair it. That's wasting more money, I don't know. But just by itself, approximately that much... Alright, sorry about that cut. So yeah, as I was saying, you know, the Viking Sword, I can easily sell it for about 500,000 to 600,000 with just those stats like that. Now, let's go ahead and turn on our boost of speed. I'm just going to walk around everywhere, maybe killing some bosses or just, um, I don't know, it's not going to be like a boss rush though. Just kind of just having a break here and there. Just walking everywhere. Like an idiot. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, so, you know, here's some boars and stuff. Maybe I can encounter a bulldozer here while I'm just walking and talking. No, probably not. So, anyways, um... I was gonna say something else too, but shit, I I forgot. Whatever, shit. Uh, anyways, um, so yeah, that Viking sword and the sweeping strikes. Damn, that is some good money. Very good money. Hell yeah. Now, um, one other thing I'm gonna do is actually over here. I actually did pick up this book in between videos, Thorns Volume Three. I got this book for eighty thousand G, which is the Pretty much the lowest point that I see the book sell for. Anywhere between 80,000 to 120,000 is what I see this book sold for. I got it at the cheapest, 80,000. There we go. Now let's go ahead and replace it because I'm paranoid again. I always like to replace it with the new level up. Although that's probably not necessary, but whatever. There we go. We got an upgrade to Thorns. The reason why they didn't show it off screen is because I wasn't recording and I saw the book for 80,000. I was already planning on getting the book in the, la in the last few videos, but on average it was about 90. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Ice Prison. That sells for about 2,500 to 3,000, maybe as maybe as high as 4,000 if you're lucky, but you know something like that. So yeah, I was already planning on getting Thorns Volume Three for um well for the Black Trader in the last few videos, but again I had seen it for about 95,000 to 100,000. I decided uh it's not necessary, you know it's not like I need it right now, so I'll just wait until it's at the lowest. And I saw it for 80,000, you know, a couple days later, which is basically before this video. Or like, one day before this video. And there it is, I saw it. But, if I buy something off screen, I'm not gonna equip it, you know, especially the books. I'm not gonna use it until it's on screen. I'll at least show that, you know, me using the new skill, equipping it. But yeah, Thorns Volume 3, um, it does 8 damage instead of 4, you know, the reflecting thing. Pretty damn good. Again, Thorns is not a very good... Oh yeah, by the way, I'm just fighting bloody flowers here. I'm not bloody flowers, what the heck am I... Shit, flower elementals. I'm doing this to maybe get some lucky mystic seeds, maybe. I don't know, just whatever. Again, just doing something while I'm talking here because I don't want to keep doing the same fighting thing here and there. So just mixing it up a bit, I guess. So yeah. Um, oh look, mystic seed. Hell yeah. There we go. See that? It, it just saves money. You know, you don't have to be keep. You don't have to keep buying the seeds from the black trader. It's just you know you just do it like that, saving some money. But yeah. Um. God damn it, I lost what the hell I was going to talk about. Oh, what is that? Wow, another 500 right there. It's not a lot, but, you know, it's still a pretty rare drop from an enemy, and I guess you can see I'm just getting lucky with rare drops everywhere, like seriously. Anyways, um, I keep getting sidetracked, I really do. God damn. Um, oh, Thorns 3. Uh, I was talking about Thorns. Thorns itself is not a very useful ability for battling monsters, at least from what I've seen, because if you notice, Pretty much every skill from a ranger is about keeping the enemy far and you yourself attacking from afar. For example, impact shot that keeps the enemy far, it impacts them and leaves them far. And snare 
that leaves them far. Shift, you know, you shift away. You get, you get what I'm saying? So that means you get far from them. Basically, a lot of the skills of rangers, I mean, come on, it's a ranger, you attack at range. The goal of a ranger is to attack enemies from a distance without letting them get close to you. Which is why, as a ranger, it's not recommended to fight, you, you know, you're not recommended to be fighting flowers that attack in range, you know, like bloody flowers and stuff. Because they attack in range, thus fighting those enemies is defeating the purpose of you being a ranger. If you're a warrior, though, you know, you have to attack from close, so that's a different story. But... Rangers, it's about attacking from afar. That's basically the goal of it. So, with that being said, Thorns itself, I mean, although it's a very useful ability for player versus players, I mean, don't get me wrong, it is. It's it's amazing for the battlefield, you know, and it's amazing for just player versus player battles in general. Even equipping it on bosses here and there because they attack in range, most of them, or all of them, I should say, you know, that's useful. But for normal monsters, no. But anyways, what I'm getting at this is that Despite how, how good of an ability it is for rangers, and I'm not complaining that rangers have access to that ability. Oh, Alright, sorry about that cut right there, I just have to take care of something fairly quickly. But anyways, as I was saying, despite how, you know, good of an ability Thorns is for player versus player battles and bosses and battlefield and stuff like that. So I'm not complaining that, you know, rangers have access to that ability. But despite that, I really wonder why the developers come to us, they actually made the game like that. They're giving rangers a skill like Thorns. Because, really, if you think about it, the goal of rangers is, like I said, to keep enemies from afar and, you know, well, I mean, to keep yourself from afar and keep enemies at a distance. So, that means that you should never, or almost never, be getting hit by enemies. Which is why the use of thorns is just not useful for the whole goal of a ranger itself. You know, thorns will only activate if you get hit. That's all. Pretty much every other skill is not like that, you know, every other skill from double shot to just having, you know, double shot is just a high damage per second attack, weakness, stripping the enemy's armor, things like that, and every other every other skill, like I said, pretty much, is about, for example, concentrating, increases your accuracy, that's good for rangers, of course, and snare, keeps enemies afar, impact shot, keeps enemies afar, um, ooh, blunt short sword, sweet. Um, yeah, so, and snare keeps enemies afar, shift keeps you, you know, far from them, you get what I'm saying, so Thorns is really a skill that doesn't really, I don't know, it, it doesn't really work with it. The same thing kind of goes for Stone Skin, you know, because Stone Skin buffs your armor, whereas Weakness limits the other's armor, you know, so Weakness is overall just better for the goal of what a ranger is supposed to do in this game. So, I don't know, it's pretty interesting, I've always found it kind of interesting how they, I mean, why they really did do that. As far as other skills go, you know, there's Sharp Eye and Swift, those are just passive skills that help a ranger out, Amplify Sense. Another passive skill, Critical Blow, we all know that's garbage, so I don't have to talk about that. And, um, yeah, I mean, did I cover everything? I think I did cover pretty much everything. I mean, it's, it's, like, except the, you know, super high ones, super high levels, for example. Um, Instinct Stimulus, that was a great skill. Um, you know, there's also, what is it called, Clarity, the Power Shot, Soul Drain Shot. I'm not going to be talking about those, but the only ones, really, are just Thorns and Stone Skin that are... Pretty interesting as to why, for example, Stone Skin would make better use for a Ranger. I mean, would not make better use for a Ranger. And it would make better sense for a Warrior because, you know, more armor for them. Which is good. Thorns too. Warriors in general tank much more damage than Rangers. Which means, of course, that with that being said, Thorns is much, much, it has a much greater effect if Thorns is cast on a Warrior rather than a Ranger. Because it's harder to kill warriors because they will overall take more damage. That means that the enemy who's attacking you with thorns is overall going to take more damage. You get you get what I'm saying? It kind of makes sense like that. For, and for example, mages, since they're usually the lowest in terms of how tough they are, you know, how much damage and endurance they can take, of course, thorns would be the least useful on them. That's kind of what I'm saying. But yeah, enough about that, I guess. I just wanted to make that... Kind of an argument here and there, again, I'm not complaining, you know, Thorns is great for player versus player battles, I'm happy that Rangers have that ability, but at the same time, I'm like, why? Just, why did you give it to them? It kind of doesn't make sense in a way. So, I don't know, you can agree or disagree with that, but whatever. I mean, it's not like a huge debate or anything, again, I don't really care, in a way, I don't care too much, but, yeah, whatever. So... I've kind of just been doing the same thing the whole freaking time here, but at least I was talking a good amount about that, you know, so... I guess I just probably should just go somewhere else, really, you know, you know, start... Well, I mean, I'm like 10 minutes or something. Oh, double shot, hell yeah, that's a, that's some free 900G right there, or more if I could sell in a black trader. Ooh, blunt short sword, hell yeah, damn. 
See what I'm saying here? I mean, yeah, these things don't like sell for a ton compared to other stuff, but they're still rare drops, and I'm, I'm just getting lucky. Like, I know some of you guys are like, dude, you're so lucky. You got Slam too. You got Sharp Eye. You got well a bunch of random lucky drops here and there. And I think I got something else that was lucky too, right? Um, what else did I? Oh, well, of course, the Viking Sword and the Sweeping Strikes. I mean, come on, the Viking Sword, lucky. Sweeping Strikes, lucky. Hell yeah, I'm just getting a ton of money. And I guess eventually, by the time I reach like level 25 or 26, I will be on the lookout for hunter bows because I'm going to be wanting a hunter bow when I reach level 27. You know, that's going to be pretty damn useful. And yeah, hunter bows, very good compared to great boats. Very good. Amazing, I should say, yes. That's pretty much how amazing they are. So, you know, I guess I should... Ooh, another Mystic Seed. Hell yeah. Damn. Oh, I guess I should end the par, you know, maybe it's just like for another minute or so just to turn. Oh my god, like another blunt short sword. <laughs> what the heck is this? Jesus, man. I'm just getting lucky. Oh, look, a seed. Oh, shut up. A seed is not good. Are you kidding me? Uh, anyways, um, yeah, so. Hmm, actually, I'm just going to come down here and, you know, I guess fight a couple more bloody flowers and stuff. Where the hell are they? Oh, wait, they're supposed to be down here. So, What the heck? Wait, did I go the wrong way? Where the hell am I? Oh my god, okay, shit, I was I'm getting confused here and there, like, seriously, okay, so down here there are bloody flowers. I'm, why do I keep calling them bloody flowers? It's because I've recently been on the freaking fourth floor, attacking bloody flowers here and there when I really shouldn't, I should just be attacking the bloody mines, but whatever. Um, so yeah, you know, yeah, you know, you know. Hello, Colin, um, I will exchange you my, um, the hell, wait, where the hell are they? Um, dude... Wait. What? What, what? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, they were right there. Are you shitting me? Are you kidding me right now? Um, just looking at everything else right now that I have, so. Yeah, okay, um, look at all this crap. Damn, man. That's gonna sell for a pretty decent amount of money in total. Like, seriously, all of this stuff. Okay, so, Colin. Um, this. No, not that. Collecting Wing Tribes. Five Old Feathers. What'd you give me? And you gave me a. Damn it. I guess I'm not lucky on that part, huh? If, if I got an armor enchant D or weapon enchant D, really, really, I would have just been at the next level of luckiness. Like, seriously, I would have. It's, it's crazy. It would have just been crazy. But, anyways, I'm going to have to end the part right here. I mean, again, we didn't do, you know, progress in terms of leveling up or farming, but at least we just did something else because, again, I want to mix it up. You know, we spent the time getting some Mystic Seas, and at least I showed off Thorns Volume 3. So there we go. We now have the max Thorns available in this game. So, so yeah. Um, goodbye, everybody, and until next time.